So Dee and I are making the mini muffins, the applesauce oatmeal ones that we made before. But I switched up a little bit. I did wheat flour, and then I added some chunks of apples in it with the applesauce. What's wrong? Do you want some? So I want some, please. Please. Want we'll to see what it's like to try to cook while Deegan's pulling on my pants? <laughs> there he is. Say hi. Mommy's making new muffins. Is mommy making new muffins? No. No. <laughs> What's wrong? I just tried to spoon these in here and then we'll put them in the oven and then I can play with you. Does that sound like fun? Do you want me to play with you when I'm done? No? Here they are, fresh out of the oven. We'll see. I'll have to let them cool in a minute. I'll try and I'll let you know if my additions and changes taste good. They smell delicious though. Alright, so I ate one and they are delicious. Love the chunks of apples in it. Maybe next time I'll cut them a little bit smaller. Um, just so they're real nice and fine. But uh, they're really tasty. The wheat flour seemed to work really well. I did cut it to just one cup and not... I left out the quarter and that seemed to make it perfect consistency. Another thing, while I was making them, I realized I didn't have any more eggs. And it only requires uh, one egg yolk, I think. And I just went ahead and just cooked them anyway. And it was fine. They seem like we're not... Well, not missing it, so it's good. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look at all these cards Jeff has. Woo woo! Cleaning out. Clean out the junk drawer. Do you have a junk drawer? We have two junk drawers. <laughs> Skittles! I think these are the new Skittles from the movies. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, open this letter. Where? From Wall Street. Mm. I want us to buy something. More insurance. Need more life insurance coverage? Call la 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 to get started. Deacon, what are you doing down there? What are you doing? What? Say dress up all the days. What are you dressed up? You're so cute. Let's see. Okay. Okay, hold on. Oh. Look at that cute boy. Say <laughs> so got dressed up all the days. Like Christy said, dress up. Can you guess what I'm dressed up as? What's mommy's dressed up as? It's going for like the, I've got my acid wash jeans, got my sad pony, got my green heart earrings. I'm a mommy. Oh. Don't scream. Can we get your look? You're so cute. Look at you. Woo. Aww, you're fine. That's a cute hat you got on. I can stand. Oh. You can do it. You can. I can't always help you. Gotta do. Oh, so close. Dee and I have been working on getting the house cleaned and picked apples, gave some apples to the neighbors, made some apple crisps, and now we're having a Lilithia meeting at our house. And uh, I thought I'd talk about it for a couple of minutes. Oh, do you want it? Here. Do you want this one? It's hard to film nowadays because he normally wants my camera. But, um, La Leche League is, um, a organization that uh, they're 
Well, the Leche League is it's an organization that is um, for breastfeeding. It supports mothers and, and children in breastfeeding. And uh, it promotes and supports and educates. And uh, most areas have a local group and they meet each month and they have a free monthly meeting that any any women that are interested in breastfeeding or pregnant or nursing um, themselves um, can attend and uh, they call it the series meeting, there's four series. Yeah. And this is a really good book that I really highly suggest. It's called The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding. This is the newest edition. It's the eighth edition. So if you are looking for this, you want the eighth edition. It's the um, completely revised and updated. And it's a fabulous resource. I would say this is the greatest breastfeeding resource book really out there. Um, it has a lot of really good, very helpful, very pro breastfeeding advice. I love the, we've been watching Glass Posse for a couple of months here in our house and we love them. Christy recently, she showed some titles, some books, some Halloween ones that she had gotten out and it really made me want to have a couple of them. So we went ahead and we got Dick and Jane and Vampires. We got the Halloween play. And the little lady who was not afraid of anything. And these are adorable books. I highly recommend them. And then at a local uh, bookstore, we got Happy Halloween Stinky Face. Just a cute little book that was like a dollar. So, yeah. I don't know if I've shown you our Halloween decorations. So, let's see. So, those are just little two by four things I made. And then that I bought a while ago. That's one of those printable type things. Apple cider, pumpkin pie, falls here, my oh my. I got this for a dollar at the DI, which is a thrift store here. Um, got that at Shopco a couple years ago. Just like a metal thing. I think it's meant to hang on the door, but I put it there. I made this little pumpkin with burlap. This I just made with some scrap wood that we had. And then there's like this kind of garland stuff I made. It's just twine and then little leaves that we glued on. I made that a couple of years ago. Then we've got like this little, here's another, eh, it's not focusing, printable. And this is a cute little pumpkin. It's just a piece of wood, like a two by six or eight, I don't know, whatever that is, about eight probably. And uh, here's another little pumpkin. And oh, I have one more pumpkin I made, I think. There we go. There's one more pumpkin. And then here's some over here, and I have a Halloween uh, baby. <laughs> He's dressed up as, as dressed up as Spider Man today. You got Spider Man, Spider Man. And did I show you this one? These I made. These are really cute. They're really fun. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs>